Hello my spooky friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Sierra and we do spooky lifestyle over here and we're about to be full-blown Halloween hunting. So if you like videos like Halloween hunting or any kind of spooky things or just nostalgia stuff in general, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, join my creepy little corner of the internet. You know I'd love to have you. So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Halloween hunting season and what we can expect, ways we can prep for it, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm very excited to share all of my tips and tricks with you guys. I have been Halloween hunting now for about two or th I guess it's maybe been three years. Wow, this will be the third year and it is so much fun. So I'm so excited to share it all with you. First things first, I wanted to show you guys my little trick or treat necklace. If you saw my second spooky small shops video, you will have seen the Ludlow Luna Beware the Autumn People necklace that I wore. This was one that I mentioned and how I wanted to get it and they were so sweet to send it over and I love it. It looks so good with my little star necklace. So thank you so much for that. So we're gonna start off I think with uh, what I do to kind of help me through the day when I'm out Halloween hunting and spending hours in like the 80 degree heat of North Carolina. So I do apologize for the AC in the background. I'm trying to keep it low but it is 75 degrees in my car and yeah it's a little hot with that being said my first tip is you want to stay as hydrated as possible when you're out running around and you're bopping around from store to store so i'm a pink girly even though i am a halloween girl i absolutely love this it's a fake stanley and it keeps my ice super chilled super cold so i drink either water or i'll do like tea and i just keep that with me you want to have like plenty especially if you're going out for a little while i just did a halloween hunting video the other day which was a flop <laughs> and I was out for a couple hours so having this with me was perfect because I was going to multiple stores multiple cities and yeah so I like to keep the vibes kind of spooky in my car to kind of get me you know excited for the day so my mom got me these for my birthday last year they are little coaster holders they need a little bath but <laughs> I just love them because obviously the spider webs whenever I look down to pick up my cup it just makes me instantly so happy so having these in the car are a necessity and I just think they're so cute I keep them in here year round but especially for like Halloween hunting and Halloween season I love to have those in the cup holders. I also keep this pillow in my back seat because I just feel like it brings the vibes. I am also all about a full experience and that doesn't stop in my car. So I want visuals and I want smells. So right now on my rear view mirror is this little broom. We got these in Salem when I went in 2022 with Jess and Corinne. And let me just show you, hang on one sec. So we were each gifted these little brooms and it's like twigs and stuff from around Salem. It says Salem 2022 on it. And I think it's so cute and I've had it up on my rear view mirror for a little while now, but I'm gonna take it down just for a little bit because we're gonna switch it up. If you saw my second Spooky Small Shops video, you will already recognize this. This is from Sanctuary Candle Company and it is a diffuser. And I'm so excited to hang this up. It is in the scent pumpkins and patchouli. So I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get that hung. I wish you guys could smell this. Honestly, I'm being dead serious. Go to their website right now and order one of these diffusers. Like this smells glorious. Okay, I want my entire life to smell like this. And look how good it looks. I seriously just love the little skull jar. I think it's so cool. And if you're unfamiliar with these, you just tip this upside down and then the oil kind of disperses onto the cap. And then it just, I don't know. I, I want you guys to smell my car right now. It smells so good. I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, so now that we are hydrated and have the scents going, the next thing I cannot recommend enough is music. Nothing creates a mood quite like music. I actually have a Spotify playlist that I've created. I can link it down below if you guys want to check it out, but I will throw that on. I will usually hit shuffle and just let whatever play play. But it is so fun to have some Halloween spooky kind of music and the spooky vibes going when you're bopping around town. Like it is the best. It seriously just puts me in such a good mood and it makes me excited for whatever I'm gonna see in the stores. And yeah, I can even deal with traffic and people acting crazy when I have a good spooky song on or just a good song in general, you know, so. Music is definitely high up on the list. 
So the next thing I do to get really excited about going out and looking for things is to dress up. I love wearing a cute little spooky tee, maybe with biker shorts or I'll wear a skirt or a dress. This is actually a romper from Retro Stage, but I also always have to bring a spooky bag. Now I have at least two videos of spooky bags, so if you're interested in seeing my full collection, I will link those videos down below. But this is one of my favorites to take out with me because it is compact and it's cute. And it's not like super in your face spooky Halloween, but it does have really cute vibes. So I definitely love taking this one with me. Now if you do Halloween hunting like I do, I always bring my little DJI camera. This is like the most compact camera. So this bag is actually perfect, but I usually keep the necessities in here like phone, keys, wallet. I'll throw gum in there cause you know I'm probably eating at some point and <laughs> I'll need that gum. I'll also keep like lipstick for touch ups and that sort of thing. So I try to keep it simple and minimum but you know, go crazy. I've also carried like tote bags around with me before. Like there's no shame. Just like whatever you love and gets you in that spooky mindset and mood, take that with you. It just gets you so hype. I also like to carry hair ties with me because especially when it gets hot, I need to pull my hair back immediately because one thing about me is if I start getting hot and in a bad mood, I'm done. I'm out. I'm not doing the rest of the day for Halloween hunting. <laughs> oh, also in my purse, I keep hand sanitizer. We are touching a lot of things in the stores. I don't want germs on me. So this is the Vampire Blood from Bath & Body Works. I'm so excited to see what they do as far as packaging and scents and everything goes. This is a classic scent. I absolutely love it. I buy it every single year, so I'm ready for a new one. But hand sanitizer is another one that you wouldn't think of, but is kind of a necessity. Also, while you're cruising around, have some cute sunglasses, some fun sunglasses. I wore these in my last Halloween hunting video. They're a little orange vibe moment and it just makes me so happy. Basically the moral of this story is to just do things that get you happy, brings you serotonin and gets you in that Halloween mood because that's gonna make the day so much more fun and exciting. I almost forgot, footwear, wear comfortable shoes. I mean, wear whatever you want. I don't, I, who am I? But I usually wear like either sandals, Doc Martens or Vans, and that just also keeps me in a better mood because if my feet hurt, I'm out. You know, wear whatever you want, but I highly recommend something that is comfortable for while you're running in and out of stores, to multiple stores, that type of thing. So comfy shoes, a good playlist, a nice scent, a cute outfit, cute bag. You're gonna be happy, you're gonna be more excited. And even if we don't buy anything, it's fun. It's still fun. So that's my other big thing this year is I'm trying not to overbuy. I will be taking you guys to all of the stores and I'm excited to show everything, but I'm really trying this year to not overbuy. I did really good last year only buying a few things, but I'm trying to keep it to pieces that I really love that are very unique to me and that I just feel like I can't pass up. But in previous years, I would go crazy. I'd go into a store and be like, oh my God, Halloween's here. I have to buy six things. I didn't have to buy six things. So just remember to stay within your budget. There's nothing wrong with having a budget. It's very exciting, but we also tend to overbuy as a society. And again, you know, if that's your thing, I am not shaming anyone, but I'm just saying, if you do not have it in your budget to buy a million things, don't feel bad. We're all on a budget this year, I feel like. So I'm doing my best to stay within that. Anyways, I, I am excited to go look at everything, but we're gonna be laser focused on not buying everything. <laughs> okay, so moving along to the timelines, it's actually already wildly different than I thought it would be as far as who's come out with stuff first. So Joanne has already come out with stuff. I did hear that Joanne is doing like three waves. So the Eclipse Witchy Moon collection that they have just launched is I believe the first wave. And then we should start seeing more like blacks and orange and traditional kind of stuff. I am excited to see all of that. So hopefully my freaking store gets the first wave in before the second wave. <laughs> Watch my last video for my beef with Joanne fabrics. But anywho, at home I think is right next up on deck. They did a teaser on their Instagram a couple weeks ago for halfway to Halloween about how Halloween is coming sooner than ever. I'm so excited. I am obnoxiously calling my store asking like every week when they're thinking it's gonna come in they're probably gonna start blocking my number here soon but I anticipate we'll probably start seeing things by the end of the month 
we saw the first little bit of at home at my store the first weekend of June. So I felt like we were early. So maybe the first weekend of June is going to be like across the board. I feel like maybe my store kind of put things out a little sooner because I started to see it trickle into other people's store like a week or two after mine. So maybe the beginning of June, maybe the end of May. I don't know. Crazy to be saying that out loud. <laughs> But I am really excited because At Home is one of my favorite stores to shop for for Halloween in terms of big box stores. So I am excited to see what they come out with this year. And yeah, I love that they're on board with the Summerween vibes. Like their social media team is like on it for Summerween and I'm here for it. So after At Home, I feel like it's typically closer to the 4th of July that we start seeing things trickle into TJ Maxx, Home Goods. My Dollar Tree, even though we already have a couple little velvet pumpkins out right now randomly, they usually wait until after the 4th of July to put things on the shelf. So early July for those types of stores. Cracker Barrel is another one that does right after the 4th of July. Excited to see what they do this year. I feel like last year it was cool. The Witch was really cool, but you know, I feel like we didn't get something that was as like coveted as the ghost. And so I'm excited to see what they do this year. Bath and Body Works is typically around mid-July from what I remember in the past. I always do the early online members only sale that they do. My friend Jess and I, we will literally wake up at like set, like probably like 5 a.m. And by 6 a.m. we're texting each other like, okay, is it up for you? What are we doing? Are we? <laughs> so I always get so excited to buy some of the stuff on there. And then I get really excited to see stuff in store. So I'm definitely excited to see what Bath and Body Works does this year. Like I said, as far as like packaging and scents, if you guys have any like predictions or like anything that you want Bath and Body Works to come back with, like, let me know. I loved Moonlit Graveyard last year, but I feel like it was kind of a unique smell that it probably wasn't everyone's favorite. So I don't know if that one will be coming back, but I did really enjoy it. Obviously Vampire Blood is my all time favorite and Perfect Pumpkin is also just so classic. So I hope those are all coming back, but yeah, so that's mid July. And then I feel like after that, everybody kind of that hasn't already put stuff out waits until after back to school. So then in August, we'll start seeing Spirit Halloweens open up and we'll start to see a little bit kind of trickle into like Walmart and that sort of thing. And then I always feel like Target is the last freaking store to put anything out. And I feel like they put things out at like the end of August. And I'm like, baby, we already have been doing the Halloween thing. So yeah, and then after Target, it's pretty much Halloween. So. I will be making multiple runs to Spirit Halloween, I am sure. I just love going in there sometimes, just, just be surrounded by the things. So definitely excited for that. If there's other stores that I missed or forgot, please let me know. I, I think those are the main ones I kind of hit up. I know there's like a lot of stuff online and you know, cool places to shop for online. I will always and forever plug small spooky businesses that are year round. I have multiple videos and I'm coming out with another one here soon talking all about my favorite spooky small shops. As fun as the big box stores are, I do love to support small businesses as well because usually they are so creative and the quality is just so immaculate that I am excited to share about them and support them and show love. So while we're all getting hyped for the major corporations to come out with all of their Halloween, don't forget about the small shops. They also have some amazing things. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I am dying in my car right now. I'm so excited to get out and edit this, <laughs> put this up on the internet for you guys. I think that's about it for me today. Again, please make sure to subscribe and join my creepy little corner of the internet. I love getting to talk to you guys down in the comments below and talking about our love for Halloween, horror, nostalgia, all of the things. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.